Ooh, this isn't gonna go well at all, is it? There's gonna be fucking war. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Rogue 2, Emperor Edition. This is going to be my second uh, series of Rome 2. We're going to be playing Im the Imperator Augustus campaign, which is a later campaign, the latest one. And um, this basically has a large fragmented Rome. So you have your Lepidus, Lepidus's Rome, you have Octavian's Rome, Antony's Rome, and Pompey's Rome, which... Oh, it's amazing. If you want to find out more about the history, go over to the Total War Facebook page and website. It is awesome what they've been doing over there. Um, so basically you have you have Lepidus's Rome. He controls Africa and Spain, pretty much. Uh, you have Octavian's Rome, which controls Rome and the Gallic tribes. So France um, and Northern Italy and Italy itself. You have Antony's Rome, which covers uh, the majority of Turkey, some of Lower Africa, and Greece. And you have Pompey's Rome, which contain, which is the middle, uh, the islands of Sicily, uh, th th these islands, those those ones. Uh, let's see, experience missile units. I think I want to play Octavian's Rome. I don't want to play Antony's Rome. That one seems a bit boring. I could play Pompey's Rome. Which would be so... It would be quite interesting. Hmm. I think we're going to play Octavian's Rome on hard difficulty. We're going to start the campaign there. I really like the aesthetic that they've gone for now. It is so, so clean and nice. It's good. I'm happy for this. I'm very excited. I haven't actually played anything of this yet. Um, I've just been reading lots, lots of it. Um, so you guys will be seeing my reactions to everything. Oh, so exciting. Be really good if it can loaded faster though. But then again, it is a big game, and you can hear my my computer clunking away there at the uh, the wonderful hard drive that is just eating itself, possibly. I, I have no idea what's going on with that. Okay. An emperor ought to die standing. Vespian. Roman emperor. 9 AD to... Shit. 79 AD on his deathbed. Hmm. Most of them die on their backs. Just saying. Just saying. Oh, it is actually loading now. Good, good. I was thinking that we were going to be crashing there. Come on. Just a little bit more. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do the thing. That last bit, just, 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 just do it. Go faster. Do the thing. Yeah, this this series isn't actually going to cut off the lost the lost legion. That is still going to be going ahead. Um, just the mod hasn't been updated yet because, of course, it's the first day. But I do have that one hour twenty minute video that is should have gone up by now probably. If not, pfft, it'll be up soon. So that's a super long, awesome episode really kicks off some awesome awesome plot going on there uh so go check that out as well that is in the old version of rome as well before emperor edition that's a video you are my son and i've done all i can to protect you the gods smile on you Octavian. you're a good soldier Politician. We don't need more politicians. It's not more speeches in the Senate that will change the world. Rome is dying. Why do you think Caesar favored you, sir? I was loyal. No, Octavian. He saw in you the potential to continue his legacy. Not to follow him, but to exceed him. Antony cannot be trusted. His heart lies in Egypt. We must confront the reality that civil war is inevitable. And how will bloodshed save the people of Rome? You are not meant to save them. You are meant to lead them. All men are troubled when their moment has come. I am not Caesar. 
Caesar. I don't have his strength. The people loved him, and they will love you. You can't think like an ordinary man. You must reach beyond mortal ambition and do what has never been done. Survive, my son. Rome must have a master. Well, that was fucking cool. Wow. It's amazing. That was the trailer as well. Um, but to have that there was pretty freaking cool. Of course, now we've got a wonderful black screen. Oh, there we go. Carpe diem. So, this is the new map. It is a lot more colourful. It's They've done a lot of work with it. And they've really sharpened up these images, actually. That's one of the first things I noticed. These look a lot sharper. Everything just looks a little bit... A little bit better. Um, we're going to move this navy. Because I fucking never use navies. Right, let's check diplomatic status. Well, shit. That does not look good. We're not at war with anyone. Mike Antony looks fucking pissed. He's at war with a lot of people, actually. Lepidus looks fucking weird. Um, Pompey. Pompey is so cool. Look, he's got blue. Just blue looks cool. I'm a bit of a fan of blue. Um, let's just check the map again. Let's see. Diplomatic status. We have we have two arm, three armies. Interesting. We have a, a lot of allies actually. Although our allies hate us. Isn't that right? Is that diplomatic? Yeah. Okay. Go back. Let's go back. Who hates us in the north? Fucking everyone. Wow. This map needs to be a little bit sharper. Come on, guys. This looks... It's just... no. Okay, so we have the Belgae, the Gauls, and the Helvetii as enemies. Not enemies. Fucking... that's the stupidest thing. Ooh. Uh, okay, new buildings. This is a Garrison Colonia. Sometimes the poor need protecting from themselves. Two public order, three growth, veteran legionaries. This actually provides me with a lot more to do. Oh, okay, so these... Okay, it seems like buildings have been changed over quite a lot. Um, there's a lot of growth. We have lots of things to to build with. The towns have got a lot smaller as well. Particularly he oh hello gold trench mine interesting um, so where should we focus so we're going to be attacked quite badly by looks of things so I think a wise idea would be oh can I upgrade these guys I can I like the new UI as well looks a lot smarter this is a pure vanilla run through as well what I'm doing here. We're going to strengthen up this side. So Massalia is going to get... Ah, right, no, here. We're going to expand. Oh, shit. Wow, that is not good. Right, we'll get a field of Mars. Technology, we will research... Oh, some of it's actually been researched already. Perfect. Has boiling oil. 
because as we know boiling oil is my favorite and we'll go straight for that so we've got a field of Mars there so we'll be able to get a garrison going this army I feel should probably move to Pavatium the Roman army will actually recruit some legionary cavalry and a couple of first cohorts getting five turn trade and finance very good. Who are we trading with? We are trading with Domnani, Pontus, Raiti. Taxes, objectives. Okay. Right. We'll just we'll just end the turn. Okay. Oh. Uh. No edicts. Edicts. Oh. Provinces have changed as well. I notice. Italia is a new province, not containing Syracuse. Because before it was Burundisium, Consentia, Syracuse, um, and the other town here. Was it like Lilibium? Lilibium? Anyway. Uh, oh, Pompey's Rome actually is not an ally of ours. Is he an ally of anyone else? He is not. That's, that's going to be a problem for him because we that will be our first port of cool. We have a veteran as well. Get in here, military training. It's actually nice to have something like that to start off with as well. This navy will stay as is. Have they upgraded the... no. Okay. Just noticed that this was 120 men, which would have been so helpful. We're going to need to focus on public order as well, it looks like. Not public order. Um conversion. Oh shit, what, what is that? Is that? That's a meeting place. Interesting. Um, yeah, because there's a lot of Celtic and Gallic um, religion, whatever it is. Oh, the thing I was going to do was actually put an edict down, wasn't it? We're going to put bread and games here. Um, we're going to does this got bread and games? Okay, this is also going to have bread and games. Genua is uh, unable to addition. Does this cost me or something? Cancel that edict. We don't need them. That's something we don't need. Would be more useful over here, I feel. We'll put romanization down. Can I put romanization down? I can. Perfect. End turn. We'll start converting them as quickly as we can. Because that'll that'll become painful otherwise. So we only have three armies. Um which for a large large country that we are, large faction, may become difficult, may become very difficult right now. Um We'll see how the war goes, I guess. Because at the moment we're not we're not at war with anyone. Okay, edict issued. Cool, cool, cool. Here, where was it that we built this bloody thing? There. Want some consecrated ground? Uh, oh, we already have one here. We'll have a shrine of Jupiter. Um, how are these guys doing? Shrine of Neptune there. Legionary Cavalry and First Cohort. That might be useful. Not right now though. Shrine to Jupiter. What's this? Horse Breeders. Interesting. That would be cool. Uh, might be a good idea to get that for right now as well. Um... This army is looking all right. I like it. Let's move it. At what recruit? Oh, we have two of these. Why? What would be the point in those two? We'll convert that to an auxiliary camp. I think. Hmm. Wouldn't serve much point. Let's move this navy down as well. We will port it in Brindisium. 
Ah, this actually means I'll be able to use row hard or whatever the fuck it's called. Very good. Very good. Uh, politics as well has changed. Just remember this. Um, so this is now the new politics system. Shows your influence. Currently have 58%. Respected by all, if not perhaps listened to by everyone. So politics is a much more interesting thing. So we're going to secure a promotion for Marcus Vespinius Agripia, which now means, wrong button, we now have 64%. My character there. Where is Octavian? Is this free? Might as well do it. Good. I want to do that as much as possible. It's Octavian in Rome. That looks like it's probably him. Yeah, it's Octavian, right? Tell me. Tell me if... Is this Octavian? Plus. Who's the general? Gaius Octavius. Yes. Okay. Cool. Sweet. Uh, maybe a good idea to expand that in the next turn. Trade would be useful as well. We'll try for a few trade routes. Yeah? Probably will be. Unless we die. Just saying. Oh, perfect. Cool. Yep, I'll accept that. That gave me a bit of extra cash and trade as well. Researching boiling oil. Veterans ranked up. Also, another change, forgot to tell you guys, is this is now four years. Four turns per year. Four years per turn. No. It is four turns a year. Which means that um, you get a lot more in-depth with characters. Uh, it's the same, actually, as my uh, legionary Lost Legion campaign. That also has... Let's recruit a few of those guys. Let's do a mass recruitment, I think. Three, and then... A couple there. Yeah. It's only a matter of time until we're attacked. But I think that Pompeii should be the first port of call. How much does Anthony hate me? He's hostile, negative 99. Lepidus, negative 110. Pompeii, 164. Pompeii is going to declare war on us first, then. If I were to guess. Actually, no. No, it'll be the yellow guy. I've forgotten his name already. He'll probably declare a war on us first. Antony won't. Pompey won't. Lepidus. Oh, yes! Antony's Rome has come with us as well. That's nice. That's nice. Cool. We're going to war. We're going to war. So we shall march the armies from... We'll hold the army in Rome for right now. Very good. I shall accept. Sweet. This army... Hmm. I don't know which way they would come. Would assume they're going to go to Nabro first. So we will force march our way to there. We're not going to hire mercenaries. That would be a big mistake. That would just cripple our economy. Get these guys down here. Um, actually, the first legion would be useful. Another cavalry unit. Right. 
do some upgrades in Rome. Upgrade the vineyard. Aratium. Uh, I think Bavetium would be better. Oh, what's the other fucking place? Can I upgrade anything here? Oh, upgrade the city. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Glad. I'm happy about that. Money has deteriorated a lot. So trade should be on our cards. Anthony. Okay. I speak with wisdom. Shut up, you dick. Whoops. Good. I'm glad. Glad you can sense your false gods. These guys fucking love me. Jeez. Oh, okay, the Iceni not. <sighs> yeah, no, I can't be bothered with all that. Right, that's boosted me back up. Lovely jubbly. Uh, may actually recruit, raise forces. Is this guy? No, he's not of my house. I will. I will recruit only from my house, my dynasty. Oh, hello. What was that? Oh, that was my phone. Hmm. My phone just fell. Hmm. Okay. Pompeii is moving. Non aggression pact. I like the sound of that. I'll accept that. My veteran, oh, this veteran's doing amazing. Um, okay, Octavian is going to go march down here. This fleet is going to come to here. We should probably recruit an army here. Because I'm going to guess that's where he's going to... He'll probably come for Rome. There we go. Small army. Two of everything. Really should have thought about recruiting more dogs I do like me some more dogs as is well known why can't I you're in forced march I know I'm perfectly aware can you please come out of forced march please ok well I'll have to do that next turn Octavian is going to go straight for Carthage. I think it makes more sense. Cripple him, because that's a capital. Um, hmm, I'm not really happy with taking... Oh, those are Vigiles. That's what they were, Awari. They are still terrible units, though. Possibly the worst units you could find in melee. Okay, cool, fine. Let's go. Let's do this. Don't like that. Oh, this isn't going to go well at all, is it? There's going to be fucking war. Turn times are quick. Going to say that it's got a lot. Seems a lot quicker. Although I am still in early game, so that may change as I meet more factions. Boiling oil has been recruit recruited, completed. Um, let's do a bit of 
bit of the old diplomatic shit. Um, do I feel confident enough to sail? Yeah, we're going to sail. Is that even... Fucking hell, is that with... Bloody hell, that's terrible. Um, recruit massively into this army. Just a great and glorious thing. I know, I'm aware. So that comes at the cost of growth. I see. War were declared. Pompey and Lepidus. Pompey is quite an interesting character here. Hello to all them tunes. Damn, nature. Next door. I've got my windows open. It's warm today. Please don't hedge me. Oh, uh, let's convert actually this into that. Because that would be more useful to me. End the turn. Um, and I think I'm going to end the episode as well. So, thanks very much for watching. Smash this with a like if you want this series to continue. Um, if you've come from Reddit, thank you very much for watching. Please give me a subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.